Nearly 4,000-year-old lipstick discovered in Iran years. The bright red pigment placed in a small stone cylinder may be one of the oldest known examples of lipstick. An ancient artifact found in Iran is almost 4,000 years old. The ancient lipstick was found in 2001 after a flood hit the city of Jaroft in southeastern Iran. The water flooded not only the city, but also nearby archaeological sites and washed away the contents of tombs from the 3rd millennium BC. After the water receded, dozens of ancient artifacts were found on the surface, many of which were appropriated by local residents. Some items were recovered, including ancient lipstick. They are now part of the collection of the Archaeological Museum in Jaroft. A lot of time has passed since the discovery, but only recent research revealed the contents of the stone cylinder. Its results and description were published in the journal, Scientific Reports. The lipstick was placed in an intricately carved chloride cylinder. To learn a little more about the cylinder's contents, scientists analyzed the red substance found inside using radiocarbon dating and determined it dated to sometime between 1939 and 1687 BC, making it the oldest known lipstick. The substance we extracted from the vial was very dark and powdery said Massimo Vidale, an archaeologist at the University of Padua in Italy, co-author of the study. This container, made of greenish rock, reproduces the shape of a segment of a marsh reed stem. At that time, people cut the stems into pieces so that they could be used as cheap containers for everyday use. But in this case, the container is made of elegant and precious stone, he added. Analyzes showed that the pigment mixture consisted primarily of powdered hematite, which gave it its vivid red color. But other minerals were also found in the composition, such as manganite and braunite. Quartz particles were also added to the mixture to harden the paste or add shine to it. The lip pigment also contained traces of plant fibers, which may have been added to scent the product. The powder itself, bears a striking similarity to the formulations of modern lipsticks, the authors wrote in the study. Although archaeologists are not sure who owned the lipstick, they do know that these types of cosmetic products were widely used by women and men in Iran during this period. The vial's slim shape and limited thickness suggest that it could be held comfortably in one hand along with the handle of the copper-brown mirror, leaving the other hand free to use a brush or other type of applicator, the authors wrote in the study. An example of such an application can be seen in the so-called the Turin erotic papyrus from ancient Egypt, dating back to the 12th century BC. And there is a depiction of a young woman who paints her lips with a long brush or a solid applicator in her right hand, while holding a large round mirror with a cylindrical cosmetic in her left hand, the authors of the publication point out. Although a lipstick that is almost 4,000 years old may seem like a unique artifact, the authors of the publication emphasize that the advanced age of the lipstick is not that surprising, given the well-known aesthetic tradition in ancient Iranian cosmetology. Previously, foundations, eye shadows and black eyeliners were found in the Middle East and Egypt. However, red pigments, like those found in lipstick, are new to research. The stone pigment packaging itself is unique. 
intricately decorated with tiny cuts, the cylinder does not resemble any other similar object. For this reason, and because of its unusual contents, the researchers write that, this supports the view that in ancient times cosmetic products were labeled, packaged and sold in standard types of containers with specific shapes allowing for easy visual identification, which is the case in case of modern cosmetics and perfumes. While it is impossible to determine who owned and wore the lipstick, the find provides insight into the often overlooked Bronze Age cosmetics industry. It was an expensive expression of luxury that played a key role in shaping social interactions in the hierarchies of early cities, Verdale admitted. Little is known about the identities of those buried in the ancient necropolises around Giroft making it difficult to draw conclusions about the own owner of the lipstick. The research team speculates that the lipstick may have been made by representatives of the Mahasi people. According to Mesopotamian texts, it was a powerful civilization living in what is now eastern Iran, although its exact location has never been discovered. An underground laboratory in China joins the hunt for dark matter. Dark matter, the irritating, undetectable substance that makes up more than 80% of all matter in the universe, remains elusive despite decades of searching. Will a new underground facility built in China help solve the mystery? China Jinping Underground Laboratory, CJPL, offers hope of going a step further in the hunt for elusive dark matter. It is one of the largest and most modern research complexes used to search for it. The lab was built inside tunnels running through the Jinping Mountains in China's Sichuan province and sits under 2,400 meters of rock. The reason for this deep, Solitary location is that so much rock material above the instrument helps reduce the background noise present in the hypothetical dark matter data, caused by factors such as various forms of cosmic rays. A huge facility with an area of 330,000 square meters, cubic meters, it houses two modernized dark matter detectors at its heart. What is important? The laboratory is easily accessible. You can simply take a bus to its deep mountain caves under the rocks. This location is attractive for practical reasons. And the construction of the complex is much less expensive than in the case of those dug deep under the Earth's surface. According to physicists, dark matter which appears to permeate the entire universe, does not interact much with ordinary charged particles such as protons and electrons. Therefore, possible, yet unknown particles that make up this mysterious substance can easily slip through Earth's rocks and reach the detector located under their layer in the Chinese Jinping Laboratory. The key feature of dark matter is precisely that it does not interact with light, unlike, normal, matter composed of electrons, for example. This is why it is completely imperceptible to us. The challenge for modern physics is to prepare a properly constructed trap that will allow us to finally see it, or somehow capture at least a trace of its presence. Scientists hope that in the Jinping laboratory there will be a collision of dark matter particles with material placed in detectors designed specifically to detect these previously elusive particles. Their search is being conducted by two teams associated with separate dark matter experiments. 
particle and astrophysical xenon experiments, Panda X, and China Dark Matter Experiments, CDEX. Hypothetical dark matter particles colliding with liquid xenon atoms held in the Panda X detector would be detectable by its senses as characteristic flashes of light. A second instrument. The higher sensitivity CDEX germanium detector would flag these mystery particles as electrical signals. The idea is that even if almost every dark matter particle flies past both detectors, there are much greater chances that at least one of them will accidentally come into contact with either of them. In particular, Chinese dark matter detectors are looking for one of its main and most popular candidates, weakly interacting massive particles known as WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. Their existence has been theorized for 30 years, but until now they have successfully eluded the most advanced experiments. Another serious alternative to the hypothetical dark matter particles are so-called axions, which not only flood the universe, but, if they exist, behave exactly as dark matter seems to do. These are hypothetical ultra-low-mass subatomic particles that could create dark matter. As expected, they have no electric charge or spin. There are also other, more exotic interpretations, including the quite popular but unconfirmed SIDM, self-interacting dark matter, hypothesis, according to which dark matter particles somehow interact with themselves. Dark matter scientists note that the CJPL laboratory may also help answer the more fundamental question of whether strange and undetected elementary particles, or groups of them, actually constitute dark matter. This belief is very common today, but there are still alternative, although scientifically imperfect. Theories of gravity that do not require dark matter to be composed of particles at all. They cannot be completely dismissed, because to this day no particles have actually been detected. We have been waiting for a long time to recognize the nature of dark matter. Detecting the particles that make it up would probably settle this issue once and for all.